all sorts of delivery vans in at the moment. You know, just full up. Just bringing in bottoming for the shed down that side and the back side still needs a lot of bottoming. Uh, they've got four bogies going over there. Bring it in, bring it in. That's one of the Diggle guys' trailers we're borrowing or we're using to cart with. Uh, you can see the back door. It's had a breakdown, the back door's hanging off. But apparently it's happened before and one of his guys is coming to quickly fix it, so I'll keep going. Two other, other dumpers, that uh, blue one at the back, it was the one that was, the back door was knackered on it, but it's going again now. Keep shifting. Just finishing up shifting for today, and one of the tractors is broken down, a uh, dump tractor, so he seems to think it's a cab mount issue, uh, whether a cab mount is broken or not. Basically a tractor is a engine, two axles, chassis as one unit basically and then a cab plonked on top and one of the mounts of the cab onto the body of the tractor possibly has broken or given away so we need to look into that because obviously that's a pretty serious one. Don't want your cab falling off. So this is all we've shifted today and uh, a big roller on the forklift there is going to get that going fill in all this, cover this up, and then blitz it with the roller, and then packs it all in. So that's today's update. So that's it all been levelled off. Now I've got a whole lot more to bring. Agricar out to have a look at this tractor. This is one that's broken down, not sure why. Now these cows have been wormed, their back end should clean up. Um, they'll have picked up worms off of the grass uh, they can pick up the eggs laying in the grass, so that's most likely how they got it. It's quite a very, a very common thing with um, cattle. So, we've wormed them, that should clear them up, no problem. So the mechanic's been out of this tractor and had a wee look and he's found these, this mountain there. So you can see the sheared sheared bolt in that gap there, there's two sheared bolts. So everything in here is leaning off and I think it's affecting the cab as well. So it's away into, so it's going into the workshop. Question of the day on the tractor. What's that there? It's kind of a, it's a number and then a symbol above it. What's that for? Just stop for a piece there. Three blue tractors and a red tractor. Get going again now. Back to it now, we've got rained off for a bit. Oh, we're back at it now, it's dried off. Just need a wee push and a shove to get up this hill. It's just recently rained, so getting a bit chilly in there, places. bringing the gravel into the first yesterday's gravel is just below me now and then there's a ramp going down to where we've not dumped any at the moment so this is uh, well there's uh, it's, I mean, 10 loads in here so far in this bottom base bit and um, so this will be the allowance and uh, only 200 to go three loads there just another one now when it was rained off, there was a big pile here, but we rolled that in. Tried not to use these trailers for carting this gravel, because they're not really built for it, not as heavy duty as the kind of dumper trailers uh, that the digger guys got. So we're using three of the dumpers and then this trailer. So that keeps us going non-stop. Up and out the ramp. That's the roller that's like, getting used to pack it all in so it's got a motor on it which uh, vibrates the whole unit and uh, it packs it all in makes it nice and hard so we shifted in the region of 300 ton yesterday it's been quite slow today a broke breakdown last night one of the tractors 
uh, there's a mount that holds a kind of exhaust system and other bits and bobs all together. It's two bolts of sheared and that. So that was a way to the mechanics to get fixed fixed today. So that tractor is out of action. We've managed to uh, get another uh, tractor in um, to kind of take up the slack. So we've still got four going. Um, we've had the back door on the trailer yesterday came off. Um, I think that's happened before, so it was quite a quick fix. Uh, and then we've had rain this morning, which is quite heavy rain, which slowed us again. So it's been a stop start first first while. Um, so hopefully we'll kind of get a good good run at it. But the weather's will be wet again tomorrow, so who knows? We'll see what happens. You'll find out next. I'll find out in the next 48 hours. You'll find out in 10 seconds. Trailers are just getting a wee push up and out. Back end of the trailer was just starting to fold in along this back edge so when it was getting pushed from behind so I've put a couple of pieces of steel just to save save it a bit, bring it out and then the door won't get dented. The the base is already a bit knackered so I'll probably have to cut it all out and replace it but at least the door's gonna be straight. That's the last fold for the day. You can see the uh, abuse the back end's getting at the moment getting shoved up the hill but those uh those wee um, braces have made a difference. Um, you can tell it's getting late on there. Digger man's starting to bash the trailer and put marks in it, so he's obviously getting a bit tired. Once we got going, kind of after lunchtime, it's been a decent day and non stop since then, but this morning was a bit slow. There was a tractor to get sorted out this morning, it's still in the mechanics. There was, um, it rained, that called us off because we couldn't get up that hill. We got messed about this morning until about after lunch but after lunch we got going non-stop since, since then so we shifted I think about 28, 29, about 30 loads today so that'll be somewhere in the region of 350 tonne 300. and that'll be 20% of it We've still got a lot to go so these piles we've been dumping down through the day and then the dozer here will go in, level all that off. And then this cat forklift, it's got a roller on the front at the moment. Um, and it's got a motor which uh, vibrates the roller and it packs all this in and gives it a, a nice hard layer. And we do, we're doing about a foot uh, in one go at a time, just so you can get one layer packed in. Cause if you kind of put it six foot deep immediately, you, uh, you struggle to get further down compacted. You, it, it won't it'll only compact the top layer so to get it all compact so the shed doesn't sink later on and uh, doing it a foot at a time so that'll be a one layer which is a foot deep and then we've another five layers on top of that and that's dunk just tipped that last load i've just tipped my last load and parked up for the night and um, kevin will just be coming around the corner here and um, to do the last load Doug's like got a red tractor today. He's not a fan of red tractors, but I think he's quite enjoyed the speed. I'll need to go out and see if the, any of the sunflowers are through the ground yet. Hopefully. Sheep are mowing the grass down. We shifted. There was some in this pen, but you can see that's kind of a lighter colour. That's because they've, they've, they've blitzed it all and there's none left, so I moved them into here. Here it comes. A load in the back, last load of the day. See if he makes a. Uh, there's not much room left at the end of that ramp to get in and turn, so we'll see how he negotiates this. These Red Rock trailers, they are more built for gravel and heavy, heavy um, payloads rather than the grain trailers we've got, so. We've been using this one, this one, and that dump trailer as well, and then one of our grain trailers. So 
So he'll just go and pack up for the night. Then they'll take one of the, the vans home because both their, well that tractor's on the trailer and Dunk's tractor's still at the mechanics. So they'll just take uh, one of the vans back. This is the size of the bank. Can't make it out very well, but basically you can't see over the top of it. So if you can see it flat there, that's about, my hands are right up. So that's probably about eight foot in the sky, seven and a half, seven foot. So it's a good way up there and this is all to be filled right in. This level has to come up to the same level as that. So you can see we've got a lot to do. That's the pile getting dozed, flattened off and then the rollers just started to run just now and it'll come in, flatten all this off, pack it all in and then we'll put another layer in again. Anyway, that's today's shed update. Progress is getting made. The plan is to have this ready for harvest time. Fingers crossed. This was yesterday's question. What is this I'm looking at? And it's a diesel pump. It's an old diesel pump. We still used it to, for the cars till about six months ago. And if one full crank of this shaft uh, is a full gallon, so you turn you turn this spindle round and round, and it pulls up the diesel, which is actually in a tank under the ground, but the tank's got issues and it's not cost effective to replace. <laughs> 